Hello friends, this is Debbie Happy Cohen and today's topic is on prayer and a possibility and just a little caveat, this is joy-based living and we do not take a stand on any particular religion so this message can be for you if you believe in the power of love. Prayer, to me, is when the fixed state of a problem is melted, broken down, replaced by the open state of love flowing from the heart. I have a friend who really awakens that love state in me whenever she talks about someone that she loves or someone that she's really enjoying working with. Um, sometimes she'll talk about things that she really appreciates about them and the whole room lights up like it's Christmas. Like it's just, oh my gosh, like, and I'm Jewish and there's like sparklies everywhere <laughs> and it's just, it just feels so good and it's contagious. Well, one of the things that this person does that's a reflection of what I do, but I see it clearly in her. So I learn from her and apply that learning to myself is that at times when something is, it matters too much to her. And this is where like attachment comes in. She'll, I'll feel that those waves coming from her heart of love and love and love. And then they'll be like, but if only just, but if only, yeah, but and and it will be like, then she'll go into problem solving mode. And the thing about it is, I love the energy of prayerfulness when it comes from the heart and it's rippling out because what happens there is that when we're in the heart, we're connected to all fields of possibility and we are making room to be receptive to answers that aren't available to our close-mindedness. And so synchronicities and serendipities happen in that arena. Also, we become attuned to good questions, great questions, like, oh, I wonder who could be a really great support for this possibility? Or I wonder what would be the best next step to take? Those kind of questions live inside of that larger field. And so when I witness this friend go, oh my gosh, but if only just, and then she goes into problem solving mode with her logical mind, it's almost like she's putting the prayerfulness of her heart out there and then taking it back. So an expansion and constriction. And like I said, I do that as well. And it made me to not want to do that. It made me want to set more boundaries around that that when I feel that flow coming from my heart, to let it be there for longer, to let that appreciation be enhanced through my awareness and my attention and my gratitude of the feeling sensation itself. And when we do that together, like when this friend and I are together and we engage that state of being together or one of us does it and the other one catches on, it amplifies. And so part of our relationship ex- includes um, sometimes, when it's appropriate, setting boundaries and saying, oh, no, no, don't stop it. Let it let it keep flowing. Don't go to problem solving mode right now. Let it keep flowing. And let's ride those waves. And, and we do. And that is one of the greatest advantages for me of having people in my life who are living inside of the joy-based living conversation because we really all value those higher states of being, those higher levels of, of, of awareness and attention and joy and amplifying love. I want to thank you for being here with me inside of this conversation. We're navigating all kinds of territory, all the way from CPTSD, CPTSR, codependency on the shadow side, all the way 
to joy and love and exuberance and and creating wonderful possibilities in our lives because that's the point that that is the point again thank you for being with me and for creating more wonderfulness in your life i'll see you on the next video bye for now